205 people across the globe are infected with HIV every hour, and there are still 36.7 million people living with HIV. In Maine, there are between 40 and 50 new cases each year, and there's still no cure. If you see people wearing red ribbons today, that's to commemorate World AIDS Day. Christina Rex is live at a vigil in Portland tonight. Christina? Chris and Amanda, World AIDS Day isn't about fundraising, it's about remembering. There are going to be so many vigils like this one held across the state tonight to remember and honor lives lost in Maine to AIDS. Now, many people consider the AIDS epidemic a history lesson from the 1980s, but for many in Maine, it's still a very personal reality. AIDS is still absolutely a thing and stigma is a huge issue. Because of stigma, um, and it's one of the reasons I'm out here too, is that we kept it completely secret, so my mom taught me never to tell anybody. So AIDS is so personal to me, it's so intimate. I, I was born with parents who are HIV positive. And things were so different 30 plus years ago when the epidemic first arrived. And I lost my parents to AIDS. I was born in 1986 in very, very rural Pennsylvania. So when the epidemic was becoming a huge thing and people in rural places where I'm from had no idea what it was. Um, and I, my mother and father and stepfather and stepmother all contracted HIV. That's how I felt for so long and then- My wife lost her uncle to an AIDS-related illness as well back in the 90s. So I think for us as a couple and for myself personally, I just feel a real personal connection. When she died, I was laying right on top of her in her bed in our living room in our apartment. Um, so it was very powerful and I'm grateful that I get to be with her and to take care of her. I, my kids will never know my parents and that's really, really sad for me. Um, it's a major source of grief. And so I feel like I have to keep talking about it all the time. I want them to know my parents. I want them to know who they were and I want them to know that they shouldn't have died, you know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that they would be really happy and really proud and really grateful. And also I think they would never have been able to imagine it in a million years because they never had any, I mean, there would have been no way they could have done this safely in our hometown in the 80s and 90s. So I think they would have been shocked. Now, the executive director of the Franny Peabody Center for HIV right here in Portland says there's a chance that the numbers of HIV are increasing. She says that there's a chance the data is lagging right now, but that most organizations, including that department and also the CDC, are on very high alert for an uptick in HIV diagnosis. Why? Because of the opioid epidemic. We'll have more on that coming up on News Center at 6. Chris and Amanda. All right. Thanks, Christina.